welcome to day three. It's 6.30 in the morning. Sleep was a little bit better than the previous night, but still not great. I think I got maybe three hours. But we woke up to a little surprise this morning. Water and garbage bags. Another cloudy day. It's actually cold today. So I've turned off the AC. This water. Garbage bag. Princess is over there. Hi, my name's Jacob. Ah. Go to sleep, buddy. Oh, I'm fine. Oh. I'm still uncomfortable. At about two o'clock, I found a comfortable position to sleep. <laughs> you know, and anyway, it's going to come to Penny Bay. Here's a bit of a trick. <laughs> sleep on top of the pillow they gave you. Like put it on your stomach and lie on your stomach. It was passable. But yeah, still dark, but win the morning, win the day, Jacob, right? Yeah. So, a cup of coffee, breakfast should be delivered soon, which I'm sure it's going to be great. I'm not going to turn the light on because Jacob's still waking up. Oh, yeah. right. Jacob's going to sleep. I'm having a coffee. There we go. Yeah. Oh, Jacob's got to pee as well. There you go. You've got to t turn the handle to go in. What do you need the light for? Anyway, start for day three. Big things happening today. Big things. You'll find out shortly. Thank you. Bye bye. So, Jacob's highlight of the day, day three, is he gets to go outside again. Put the rubbish outside the door. Take a full step outside and enjoy the freedom, my boy. There we go. <gasps> run, oh. run! Uh, do it. Do a dance. Do a dance. Open the door. I can't see you. Freedom dance. <laughs> okay, get back inside. <laughs> Don't get in trouble. Oh. How was it? <laughs> All right. Let's fix up things. Yeah. So before breakfast arrives, we need to get the room resorted. So we still got the projector and laptop set up from Netflix last night. So we got to pack that back into the bag, move this table back over here for our dining room, and then move the side table back here. So let's get to it. So Jacob's requested a bit of a morning cocktail, so being the professional that I am, I will prepare that for him. Vitamin C in, doesn't fit, not a problem. Lid on, upside down, reverse vitamin C dilution. Look at that. If you get a bit of a spin, get a vortex going. That. See the tornado inside? Yeah. Jeez, I'm so smart. And my teachers said I was a mountain, I think. How cool is that tornado inside? <laughs> I should have been a science teacher. And Matthew said, let there be tornadoes. And there shall be tornadoes. Anyway. Oh, it still hasn't fallen in. There we go. Jacob, enjoy. Thank you. Jacob! Jacob! Yes. We got a delivery! No. We got a delivery! We got a delivery! Alright. Breakfast is served. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
Well, at least this time they put it in one bag. Yeah. They were wrapping them uh, oh. separately. This looks... You can do it. Oh, I, I, I see how you do it. Oh. So, congee, yeah. a piece of chicken. That looks good. You gonna lift it up? Bread oh. with corn rice and some chili. Right. Awesome. Well, I'm skipping breakfast that they provide us today. I'm gonna have veggie right on rice crackers. So Jacob, you can have both of them. Cool. I'm take your... Rest. You're welcome. Done your best. <laughs> just made a mess on the table. I just cleaned that. All right. So, I'm gonna have a couple of these. A bit of that. I just like the bread. You do? Yeah. Chicken's pretty good too. Happy? Mm. Cheers. Mmm. I'm not using that or that. Mm -hmm. Just this and that. Multitasking. Washing your teeth while getting your steps in. Jacob, we'll bring some flag on. Oh, hello. Mm. So morning routine's finished. Yeah. I've done 10,000 steps. Woo! Jacob's done a heap of core work, push-ups, sit-ups. Um, I did some of the band work as well. Um, did I see you did a school call or not? Not yet. He's done a school call yeah. with his principal and his teachers. And lunch has arrived. Yeah. Excuse our <laughs> makeshift washing machine. Oh, sorry, dryer. Now, pending what it is, I'm going to skip this meal as well. Oh, there goes a water bottle. So let's uh, let's see what we've got. Yeah, okay. The big reveal. Mm. So lunch, day three. They're gonna be my favorite mm -mm -mm. Oh, they look different. Huh. Oh. This is easy now. Has he figured it out? Yeah. Has he cracked it? Has All he right. cracked it? Push this in. Oh. And then. Three, two, one. No, that still fails. Uh, <laughs> Here you go. The pressure. I'm just gonna rip it. Sure. Just don't spill the food. Uh, Alrighty, so beans, eggplant, rice, chicken, <laughs> <laughs> maybe chicken again. No idea what it is. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah. And the beans actually look good. That. Oh, that'd be tasty. So, is it okra or zucchini or. I don't know. Wouldn't it's green visual. Maybe cucumber. Yeah. Who knows? Anyway, I'm not going to have that. <laughs> I'm going to have celery, carrot, and more rice crackers. Wait a minute. Did they not give more? For what? The it's one packet each. Oh. I thought there was two packets. Don't worry, you can eat mine. So yeah, Thank I'll uh, show you once my, my lunch is ready. Okay. For what we're having. A couple of celery sticks, thins, a bit of peanut butter to put with the... Uh, Celery, yeah I know, not super healthy, but hey, better than nothing. 
I treat myself, I'm gonna put some cheese, um, crackers. Ah, there's some Vegemite too. So, a bit of Vegemite. Oh, oh, nah. Saved by the bell. Mm. There actually is an alarm going. Yeah. Okay, Fire? <laughs> I hope not. I wonder what that is actually for. Maybe someone tripped the fire alarm. Maybe. Kids, right. yeah. don't do this at home. Mm -mm. Dad's a highly trained professional. Yeah. I'm going to get an angry message from my mum for that. <laughs> Sorry, and also, this isn't the greatest cheese, but hey, when you don't have a fridge and you're stuck in quarantine, you've got to have something that's going to last, change up the flavours. This is the third day, right? Yeah, day three. Yeah, and we finally opened the peanut butter. <laughs> now, I never liked this as a kid. And I cannot remember the last time I ate like this. That is what we're having. Lunch. It's yes, served for the old fella. Bon appetit. Let's see if I like it. <laughs> Good? No bad. Matthew approves. Right, let's dig in the lid. Yeah. So, when you're fit, you can afford to eat two meals. When you're a fat so like me, you get rabbit food. Oh. But this is still good, I'm happy. But Jacob has the best banquet going on there. Mm. Everything here is actually really good this time. Mm -mm -mm. Is it the best meal so far? So far, I say this is actually the best. Yeah. Everything. Mm. Did you try that green stuff? Yeah. What was it? Um, or no idea still? No, no idea. No idea what it is. Well, Dad has celery. <laughs> Looks like the outside of cucumber. Okay. All right, let's be doing more eating. See you guys. So part of the uh, the villa motto or the what they try and instill on all the residents that uh, stay here for the retreat is to be self sufficient. Um, it's really about owning your space and owning your your position in this world. So, hence why you've got to do a lot of the cleaning yourself. The washing yourself, the tidying yourself. Um, it is basically just yourself and your thoughts to really improve yourself. So now that lunch is done, I've had a shower. Jacob's in the shower at the moment, so I'm just gonna run around and do a bit of a sweep and just to try and improve myself and make myself and Jacob's time in the villa more enjoyable. So let's go. Let's go. see no expense was spared and they've gone for the ergonomic sweep which um, encourages posture support um, and just aligning your spine while you sweep so really smart little little extra feature that they've gone to um, to really make sure that you're looking after yourself while you do just the chores so again another tip to retreat Now you just rub your foot on your leg to get rid of the stuff that's stuck on your foot. Carry the legs the better. And look at that. Hey presto. All that stuff you would have missed. There we go. So 
Sweeping's done. Haven't done the best job, but that's why this isn't a one day, oh, sorry, just pick it up. That's why this isn't a one day retreat or a two day retreat. Minimum seven days. Um, sometimes if you're, if you're so in touch with your, your inner Zen and the way things work around you, you can get it done on four days. Um, unfortunately, apparently Jacob and I aren't at that stage yet so as you saw before we've got the extended extended uh, stay um, it's definitely not the longest there are people that do require more time to reach that zen level um, but what I'm going to do I'm going to wait for Jacob to get out of the shower because I need the hot water then I get the floor a bit of a bleach and then we can chill out on the ergonomic uh, lying pads while the floor dries so, again, villa life, baby. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There you go, so nice and strained. And we mop. Oh, look at that. It's, um, I don't know if any of you have watched The Karate Kid before, um, but old uh, Sensei Miyagi, who uh, actually was one of the co-founders of this retreat, um, once, Oh, not once, sorry, that, that's the wrong terminology. He's a strong believer in the old proverb of wax on, wax off. So when we're doing the floor, that's what I'm trying to really um, <laughs> draw draw from. The wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. And nice even strokes with the grain because the grain also has feelings. You've got to remember that even though this isn't real timber, uh, because we want to save the trees, um, this artificial timber also has feelings. Everything in this world has feelings and we have to treat it as we would like to be treated. So whatever you do, put love into it. Because everyone has feelings. You don't know, this floor might be having a bad day and he's now going, oh, awesome. Just had myself a bath. And that's it, guys. Doesn't take much. And we are now in a clean, relaxing environment. Oh, that smell. <laughs> <laughs> I may have put a little bit too much of the, uh, the natural essence into the pond. The pond. <laughs> You can see it's it's already relaxing me too much that my brain is not functioning as it as it should as mm. Sensei Miyagi uh, told us to. So there we go. We'll um, put the rest of this onto the the uh, the steam room. This is where we have massages and all that sort of jazz. So put that in there, and we're done. I'm just a villa boy, I'm just a villa boy. So we have had a very relaxing afternoon, haven't we, Jacob? Yeah. We did a big workout this morning, which you've seen the highlights of. And then we just washed. Again, you've seen that as well. Yeah. Relaxed, I've been watching the cricket, watch a bit of Ozark on Netflix. Jacob's been doing what Jacob does. Listening to music. Listening to music, and guess what? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. As you can see, Dad's well prepared. Yeah. Beverages are prepared. Let's see how long it takes Jacob to open it this time. Ah, uh, using the drinks as an excuse. This is one of the most exciting parts of the day when we get to see what we're going to be eating. Mm. Uh, okay, well, that looks like some sort of chicken. Yeah. Steam veg. Maybe another chicken? Oh, I have a feeling lunch was better. I should have eaten lunch and skipped dinner. Anyway. 
<laughs> it is what it is, boys and girls. It is what it is. So Jacob's gonna quickly open Dad's dinner. Seeing as I am the cameraman. Hey! Yeah. He is improving. Look at him, yeah. young fella. Already starting to adapt to this new life. <sighs> All right now, isn't that a nice romantic setting? Tell you what, this could actually almost be like a scene from Paris. Nice romantic dinner setting. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> you are a great A goose. Paris. <laughs> Don't ask me. No idea. <laughs> the guy that's Oh yeah, Jacob's neighbor over there is having a bit of a giggle. Alright, let's dig in. And we're back. Dinner is finished. Yeah. Washing up's done. Which basically means we just put the stuff in the bin. Yeah. Um, now, what you would have seen from yesterday's news on the sign off was the big news. Big news. Big news. The big news is with Jake and I have been speaking um, the bar oh, last, since probably lunchtime yesterday, yeah. about an idea. And that idea is, we want to do a marathon in the room. So it's going to be a tag team marathon. Yeah. So we're going. To, I think it works out to be about fifty-four thousand steps, um, which, with our room being fourteen steps long, it's going to have to be four thousand laps of our room. Um, it's an accumulated total, so it's not, I'm doing a marathon, he's doing a marathon. Our steps together, we've both got our garments on, so yeah. we make sure we charge these overnight. Yeah. Um, so, that's the big news. We're going to try and do a marathon tomorrow. Um, now, I've been in contact with a mate today, a South African friend of mine, who's got a, um, a business here in Hong Kong. And he reckons he's going to be able to maybe hook us up with some extra energy. For, for the walk. Now, I'm not going to mention anything about it yet because I want to make sure that we can get it into the room. But if it comes in the room, I'll tell you all about it, tell you what it is. Um, but that's the big news, guys. We're going to attempt a marathon tomorrow in this room. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's been done before, but hey, I've never done it. I've done a half marathon before. When I say half, I probably walked more than half of it. Don't ask me what the time was, it was probably the world record slowest time, but I did it, all right? I did it, I've got the shirt, I've got the badge. Um, obviously this guy's fit as a fiddle, so he's gonna be carrying carrying most of the team, no. but- uh, Team member. Oh, thanks mate. Oh. Uh, so what we're gonna think is I wake up pretty early. So I might get up, because let's be realistic, 4,000 steps is a lot of steps. So 4,000 laps in this room is a lot of laps. So if I wake up early like I did today, I'm going to put my shoes on and I'm going to start walking. So, and then whenever Jacob wakes up and he's ready to walk, then he can take over so I can have a rest. Um, I'll start by just doing up and downs. Uh, once Jacob's woken up, we might try and rearrange the beds a bit um, so we can have a bigger walking area. And then at times, both of us can be walking and following each other around the circuit. Um, but we'll just see how that plays out tomorrow. Um, so it's gonna be an early one to bed tonight. Um, we're still gonna set up the projector yeah. and watch, what's it called? Manifest. Manifest, we'll be a bit more manifest. Um, but no, just today's been a really good day. We woke up, I woke up super early, had coffee. Didn't really watch the sunrise because all I can, we can see is buildings and it's cloudy as. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was nice to get up early, listen to some music, have a coffee. Um, good breakfast, good lunch, as you guys saw. It was just a nice relaxing day. A bit of cleaning, as you saw. Um, so yeah, that's sort of the, the last of us for today. Um, tomorrow's a big one. I mean, I've done, you can see that. One second, I'll take my watch off so you don't think I'm lying. Today, I've done 15,000 steps today. Camera, camera. Anyway, you can see that. So, yeah. for a fatty like me, that's a lot. So, 
pretty proud of that. A bit, bit tight, to be honest, a bit tight. We might need to have to call in, see if one of the masseuses is available to come in and give us a bit of a rub down. You know, so we're n uh, nimble for tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So we might end day three. We're day three? Day three. Day three. Day three. So day three, done and dusted, guys. Um, I hope you're enjoying the journey. Yeah. Jacob and I are having a bloody great time together. Um, so there's n the only bad thing at the moment. Oh, there's two bad things. Ouch. Three. One, Jacob kicks the camera. <laughs> two, as I've said before, these beds are atrocious. <laughs> they are the world's worst beds. Um, and the third is not being with Sumi and the other two kids. But um, this is the longest that I've actually spent with Jacob ever since he was born. With me always working, Jacob always being at school. So it's been absolutely amazing to spend so much time with him. Haven't had an argument once. Oh, you too. Right, it's not. <laughs> um, so yeah, having a great time. Um, yeah. We actually, I called reception this morning and actually asked if they could extend us by another seven days. So they said they'll get back to me and let us know if, if they can uh, let us stay another seven days. But wait, what? Joking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That's it. Now we can't do the sign off because my Nepalese is terrible. His is almost as terrible as mine. We can so try. We can sign off. Okay. Eti bande akko veriyama teri batola. Get to the arms. Teri bande. I forgot. I forgot to. Ten. No. Teti bande akko veriyama teri batola. Be satisfied, please, mom. Dad and Jacob. You're getting better, but I sure had really done. That's the bande. I'll give you my belly for 